did you miss me? Well, I'm back, baby. Well, guys, long time no see. How long's it been? Four weeks? Been a long time, hasn't it? A lot sure has happened in this past month when I was away. Let's see. Um, well, yeah, the Wii U. We know everything about the Wii U, when it's coming out, how much it will cost. Brand new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games coming to the 3DS. Hell yes! The, uh... You know, just forget it. I'm not here to waste your time any longer. Let's just start with this, shall we? Eliza is out of Majora's Mask. Let's pop this into the Nintendo 64 and get playing. <sighs> hmm. Hey, I know. Hey, Sniper, you want to voice Tattle in Majora's Mask? Sorry, Gavin, I'm busy right now. Oh, damn it! Well, who's free then? I don't know anyone else who could be free. Hey, I'm free. Oh, show up. Uh, hi. Come on, you better give me enough attention anyway. Sniper gets too much. Uh, just this once, please. Let me do this. I know I can do it. Okay. I'll give you a shot. <laughs> yep, this sure has been a while. Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and I kept you all waiting, and for that I apologise. But at long last, this is it. The start of a brand new Let's Play. Which, as you all know, is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This has been a game that I have been considering doing a Let's Play of since the beginning. Way back when I started in June of 2010. It was going to be like a follow-up to my Ocarina of Time Let's Play, which is still probably to this day my best work. So just like with Ocarina of Time, Let's make this my other best work. I've gained a lot of experience from the past two years, so I think I can do it. So together, we can make this some of my best work to date. So as you can see, Majora's Mask takes place in a town-like place. Full of characters to talk to, characters to meet, but all is not well in this place. For at the top of the clock tower, there's trouble. So after that lovely intro, we finally get to the file select screen and it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Only two save files. Well, yeah, that is one problem with this game, but believe it or not, the two save files, that's only in the localized version. In the Japanese version, there are three save files. We only have two. I'll get into why that is later, because this game has a lot of differences from the Japanese version. 
So let's start a new game. Like always, I'll call myself Link because that's the way things should normally be. There we go. New file ready to use. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged through time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. You're kidding, right? Navi! Why would anyone want to search for Navi? Well, it's Link's problem. So here's Link. Some time after the events of Ocarina of Time. He's on a horse. His beloved horse, Epona. Just searching. Lost. And alone. When suddenly... Flying light bulbs! Hee <laughs> hee, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Just checking for man boobs. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. Okay, Ashura, take it away. Let's see what you got. You can't, Tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Oh, but sis, wh why can't I try it out too? Because the Skull Kid is racist to your kind. Just look at your colour. It's racism! Obvious racism! Link's face is just like, uh, excuse me, buddy. Oh, your, your blue thing? Uh, I, I haven't seen it. Bye! We gotta run from the fuzz, guys! Okay, that does not look pleasant at all. You're getting dragged around on your own, by your own horse. Many scratches and bruises later. Link, finally let's go. In three, two. Make that two, not three. And so after Skull Kid steals our horse, we'll finally be able to gain control of Link. And right off the bat, you have your sword with you, unlike in the first game, and your shield. The controls are exactly the same as in Ocarina of Time, so you won't have to learn anything too new. But I do advise you cut down these bushes rather than run straight for your horse, because... Well, you know, nothing go bad's gonna happen. Because rupees are actually gonna be pretty important. So let's see, yeah, the A button is your action button again. B button is to swing your sword, the... 
Um, up C is to go into first person view. Left, right and down C are for items which we'll be gaining over the course of the game. The R button is to shield. The Z button is your targeting button again. You can also use it to face forward. Pretty basic stuff. All the same. And the grass, it lives. It's all gone. Okay, put the sword back. Now one sort of change made is that Link is a bit more acrobatic with his jumping across gaps. As you can see. He's a bit more acrobatic, which is pretty neat. I mean, Link has aged slightly more. He's a teenager now, rather than a more like a 12 year old. And he fell down the hole. I have no idea what this is all about, but this just shows that you're entering a whole new world. Oh, good thing this flower was here. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. You asshole. That horse was my noble steed. Aw, oh, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on, do you really think you can beat me as I am now? FOOL! <laughs> okay, we got the evil wood rattles echoing in our head. This must be a bad dream, Link. It'd be wise to wake up now, Link. See? Wake up now! This is a this is a rape scene, Link! You gotta wake up! No. This is no dream. This is really happening! This can't be! I've turned into a Pokemon! No, not really. It's not Pokemon. Hee <laughs> hee, now that's a good look for you. You stay here looking like that forever. Punch, 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 punch! Oh no, the fairy just growled at me. I'm so afraid. Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid! Wait for me, I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! Darn it, it ain't no good! You! <laughs> if I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just stand there, Deku boy. Do something! Um, you're seriously asking a walking, talking plant to help you out here? Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Well, yeah, Wash, what? You've got freckles on your face. Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up! But I'm not a girl- Just say the lines, Oshawott. It's alright. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. So we've been cursed. We are now a Deku Scrub.
Now, as, now, I will admit that Majora's Mask has quite a slow start, but it does, it does, you know, pay off eventually because it gets better. As the Deku Scrub, you can't really do much. You can do the spin attack here, and your shield's basically a giant nutshell. This is Link in a nutshell. Help me! I'm trapped in this nutshell. What am I doing in this nutshell? That's your shield. So that's pretty much the the big um, feature of this game is the transformations. You will be able to transform into different characters as the game progresses. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I um apologize. So, take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so it's settled then. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. Oh ho ho, that's so clever. Tattle. But don't... But believe me, Tattle is not as bad as Navi. In fact, she's actually more tolerable. A lot more tolerable. She just tingles rather than, hey, listen. So, um, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up C and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. <laughs> shrug. Deku Shrug! And there's another ability the Deku Scrub will have. Hey, listen. If I call you, press up C right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku Scrub body yet. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku Scrub, while standing on a Deku Flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Did you get all that? Why is no pre-selected? This is not Poke Park. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Even though we were doing that moments ago. So just dive into the Deku Flower and basically we can use this to fly. We can use this to fly on flowers. Fly was great. Two bad puns in one video. I that's not a good sign. And now we're barred in. We cannot go back. But that doesn't matter because this whole um, intro area we cannot go back to at all. Unless you hack. That's about it. So just use the deco flowers to make your way to the other side of this room. While opening this treasure chest, it's not worth it, but let's just open it anyway. You got a Deku nut! Press B while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Upon impact, it causes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. So we got our first instincts of a C item. We can pause the game to go into our sub screens, which are very similar to an Ocarina of Time, with one major difference. Our equipment sub screen is now mask sub screen. We have quest status again, we have a map of the world, and we have our items, of course. A new addition is you can press the A button while looking at an item to view some brief information on it. This would later be used in ne in Zelda games afterwards. So here are the Deku Nuts. They work the same way they do in Ocarina of Time, as they stun enemies with a blinding flash. But a new feature is you can use them while flying as the Deku Scrub by pressing B. The only problem is it's tough to aim accurately. So really Deku Nuts are just as useless as they were in Ocarina of Time. Unless you're a speedrunner. Um, not good. Can you make it? Yeah, he made it. Hey, you! Come on, press Z and talk to me. Alright, we can target this thing over here. There you go, see? You can do it if you try. 
When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Will do, Tattle. Will do. Very strange looking tree. Let's mark my territory on it. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Well yeah, it will be sad later on. Very strange tree. Well, let's get going. Now this is the point of no return for that intro area. So with the forest temple rehash. This is where the game takes place in Termina. We're in a totally new world now. So let's see here, there's a pair of giant doors over here, I guess we just have to go on through. But, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Here he is, the happy mask salesman. We all remember him, don't we? Anyone who's played this game will definitely remember him. I own the happy mask shop, I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now i found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. So, how would that be possible? Okay, whatever. Tell me what you have to say. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. The Ocarina. No, the horse! Yeah, he can return us to normal with the horse! I think your opponent would eat me in this state. In exchange. All I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It is not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be no me it should by no means be a difficult task. Except the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then. I am counting on you. Okay, this guy's freaky. And unfortunately, we are inside his kneecap. That's better. Unfortunately, as well, we must end things off here. We did well, though. We got past the intro introduction of the game. So, let's stop right here. So next time on Majora's Mask, we're going to explore this whole new world that lies before these doors. So until next time, see you later.